Come on, die, die! Whoa, whoa. Alright. No, 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 what's happening? What's happening? One, one second, guys, one second. Oh, okay. Hey, Yanni, how are you? Oh, yeah. Guys, I said one second, what the heck? Hey, can I call you later, please? Uh, I, I'm a little busy. Love you. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go! Hey, Tay here, so welcome to the VR Tech channel. So let's face it, we are all addicted to our phone. And well, in this video, we're gonna learn how to just embrace our addiction and that our phone also in VR. Why not, right? Let's get into it. All right, here we are. So I wanted to make this video because it's something that I actually use daily, not just in VR, but also on my desktop, because I really want to have my phone over there so I can interact with it without actually using my phone. And the main goal here for me was actually to still stay connected while playing a game or be in a VR experience, because we are all know that when you are in VR, well, you are in VR, nothing else is there. And well, be able to bring one of the objects that you use the most might be a nice thing. Uh, to have or completely something that you would like to skip and well you have the option to just turn off the video at this point if you are though interested to see how to use your phone in vr we're gonna go through this easy tutorial where there are really few steps to use and in my case i'm using a samsung device so things are gonna be even little easier and in the future when the application that I use is going to update you're going to be able to use it with every android phone on the market there are also anyway different applications that you can use already right now we're going to mention it during the video but let's see personally I use my phone in VR right now and uh, the apps that I use so let's get into it all right so first thing before to start you're going to need a phone of course an android in my case a pc but I think you have it already uh, if you actually run VR and a VR headset and then the rest is gonna be through Steam VR and Windows itself. Step number one, your phone. So this is an application directly from Microsoft, so it's integrated in the Windows uh, directly and it's very very useful because you're able to interact with your phone and display your phone on your desktop with this simple application and then we're gonna use this feed over there to then display directly in VR. The nice thing about this application is also the fact that uh, you can interact with the phone. You also have the opportunity to see photos, messages, notifications and also take calls like a, a regular phone. So to install it we're gonna go through the Play Store of course install it and following all the instruction you're gonna receive an SMS directly from Microsoft and then you're gonna be able to register on Windows 10 directly at that point when you have your phone on the desktop we can get to the step number two but just a little note for Microsoft well I know that it's your phone if I'm talking to you so you're talking to me you say your phone but this is my phone so when I search for it it will be nicer to see my phone instead of to search for your phone because your phone doesn't really make sense please rename it step number two is to install OVR toolkit on Steam VR this is a paid application by the way is around $12 uh, but I have to say that's probably one of the wisest thing I ever bought on Steam VR because with that you're not just able to do the thing that we're doing right now but also for many different things it's actually very complete so uh, you can use pretty much your desktop in any way in VR and uh, paying like uh, applications paying like uh, windows and stuff like that everywhere in your play area so uh, if for example you're a streamer that's something that you must have or if you are a person that just want to check different stuff while playing it's another option a nice thing is like to have a toggle for the microphone for example having the time on much you're playing all the time the battery of your controllers and many many other features now i could make a 30 minutes video just about this application so uh let's cut it short and let's get to the point directly because this is the application as i said that we're gonna use to display that application so your phone directly in VR and able to interact with it anytime that we want so well for the step number three let's just jump in the application and let's set it up together to have your phone in your hands while playing so let's do it all right here we are so if you install OVR toolkit in the right way you're gonna find close to your wrist this little menu over here 
with the time, of course, uh, the controller battery, CPU, RAM, GPU, FPS, it's super useful, of course, and the toggle edit mode over here that we're gonna use, of course, to uh, change our stuff. So this is the menu, I put it here, but you can grab it and move it wherever you want. I just like to use it like in a, a mass effect. And what you have to do uh, is to go on settings and uh, is to enable the touch screen input over there. So uh, when you touch, everything is gonna feel like you're touching a touch screen, like on your phone. Then we go on Windows settings and what we have to do is to go on edit shortcut and add an odd key. At the point we have to look for your phone that by the way has to be open already on the desktop. We click on it and it's gonna create a new icon I already created, so let's go back. And then when you are in this menu, you just click on the new icon created. And here we are, uh, that's a, a big phone, isn't it? Like, hello, uh, <laughs> super big. Let's make it a little smaller, always from the menu over here. And then you can grab it and put it wherever you want. You can, you wanna always have it there, you can, or you can put it over here, drop the window to attach to the end. So as you can see now it's attached and you can put it in a way, let's make it a little smaller, uh, put it in the way that is like if it's in your palm, like a real phone, as you can see. Pretty, pretty cool. At the point, if you don't want this menu anymore, you can click on this little arrow, so you're just gonna have your phone, and if you don't want your phone, you can use your little smartwatch in VR and toggle your edit mode off, and it should disappear, as you can see. Now, every time that you want to use your phone, what you have to do is just uh, use your smartwatch, and here you have it. Then you can interact exactly like a you will do with a regular phone. For example, you can go on Twitter, as you can see, and uh, check, what? Uh, quest to report. Wow, this is interesting. Let me open it. And uh, listing on Walmart, let's go down. 2.99 for the 64 gigabyte and 256 gigabyte for 3.99 for the new quest. This is an Oculus Go, by the way, but well, uh, that's interesting, and uh, as you can see, well, you can uh, just uh, use your phone uh, whenever you want, uh, check your notification and stuff, and make it smaller, bigger, or stuff like that. You don't use it, toggle edit, and uh, that's disappeared. And by the way, you can use it in every game, because it's uh, something that is on top of Steam VR and not really on top of any game. So you don't need anything to support it. It's always gonna be there if you run the OVR toolkit. So pretty cool. Oh, I didn't want to do that. So pretty cool indeed. All right, here we are. So bear in mind that you're gonna be able to use these with any different virtual reality ads that support in Steam VR because what we need is just OVR toolkit on running on Steam VR, so at the point every game is gonna support it without any problem. And if you don't have a phone that supports your phone, uh, like any Samsung, for example, uh, well, there are other options there, other programs like Visor or Scrappy that they're gonna be able to do pretty much the same. Now, I use your phone because for me, it's super easy, super well integrated, so I really love it. But uh, if you're using Visor, it's gonna be the same thing, the only thing that you're gonna have to open that application instead of your phone than when you are in VR with the OVR Drop Toolkit. So very easy, you're gonna be able to interact in the same way because if it supports the mouse, well, support the touch, and if it supports the touch, well, you're gonna be able to interact with it. Now, the nice thing with your phone that you can pin it to your hand, you can pin it to your uh, wrist, like is a factorum in a, a mass effect, or many other places around, or you can even pin it in a certain part of your play area, and then when you toggle it on or off, it's gonna appear, or you can just keep it on all the time, so you always have it there. For me, for example, I prefer to have it like a little toggle, so you're gonna be able to have it whenever you want and not be distracted during the game, because at the end, yes, it is an addiction, uh, but it's better to don't fall completely to the addiction of the phone and having some separation over there and uh, be able to focus more on games, of course. Also, I know that there are many different programs that they can do pretty much the same, like OVR toolkit, but I found it the best for me. This is not a sponsored video, by the way, it's just the 
program that I prefer. But so far, I hope this guide helps to let you achieve your phone in VR and let you be like still immersed in VR, but be able to be connected also with the side world. Of course, uh, the touch is not exactly the same like a regular phone, of course, uh, but uh, well, it's pretty usable indeed. And hopefully in the future, we'll have something directly integrated in VR that is gonna work even better. Maybe have something in the position of a pocket and take it out and just use it without even a toggle or stuff like that. But uh, that's streaming, I think, for now. This is my solution. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you think about it in the comment below. Are you ready to have your phone in VR as well? But again, I didn't say it again. But uh, if you like the video, like. If you didn't like the video, dislike. Subscribe to the channel for more VR tech and all these guides, of course. And we're going to have a very interesting video coming in the near future. So stay tuned. And uh, if you really love the channel, there's a join button down there that really supports over here. Or we have the merchandise, like the t-shirts, the sticker, and the mask, the 2020 item for excellence. Uh, but again, like, dislike, subscribe. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching.